Hello and welcome, this is Tatiana Pasolic coming to you from the Rio with the final day of the WSOP Big One for One Drop. Poker fans were kept on their toes as six players busted out in just a matter of three hours today. Poker News Remco Rinkema shares his experience covering this pretty intense three days. I follow you on Instagram and I saw that you posted yet another sunrise over Vegas because you were covering the one drop until 4.45 in the morning. Yeah, yesterday went really late in the one drop. We started the day with 31 players. We got down to the final nine, so still not in the money yet. So they decided to stop play on the bubble, which was kind of surprising. Uh, but all in all, it was a really, really long and tiring day for both the media and the players. Before this one-of-a-kind championship bracelet was presented to this year's winner, the representative from Richard Meal Boutique was kind enough to give us a glimpse of this beauty. And I'm very excited to look at this beautiful bracelet with a floating diamond. It's, it's a completely unique bracelet. Nobody gets this but the champion of the one drop. And you made it. Absolutely. This is actually made by Richard Mill, the house of Richard Mill, specifically for this event, for the one drop. This is uh, platinum and titanium, and there is actually a, a D flawless uh, pear-shaped diamond inside that is actually caught by crystals. It's a beautiful. The final three made it interesting with Daniel Negreanu, Daniel Coleman, and Christoph Vogelsang still at play. Christoph Vogelsang is pretty pleased, taking home over $4 million. You came out in third, but here you are, all smiles, so you're happy with your result? Yeah, I'm very happy with my result. It's actually my first WSOP event ever, so... <laughs> oh my for god! How much more can I ask than finishing third in this one? <laughs> Maybe shipping the main and then just retiring forever? Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. Like, I mean, I haven't decided actually for how much longer I want to play poker, but I'm pretty sure that I want to do something else besides playing poker. And at the heads up, it was Daniel versus Daniel dueling for the $15 million cash prize and the bracelet. <laughs> But it was Coleman who takes home the cake. I'm happy to have all the people here railing for me. It was fun. I, uh, I thought I played well. He's a great player. Um, and I really like the way he plays his approach. He was limping. He was doing a lot of small ballish, really smart stuff. He knows what he's doing. How are you feeling after everything? Or has it, it hasn't settled in probably yet. Yeah. I'm good with it. I mean, you know, I've, I got $8.3 million or something like that. That's good. Uh, whenever I put in my, my best effort, and I feel like I did well, I don't have any sort of regret, you know? And I look back at the hands and I'm like, yeah, I mean, I played them just how I wanted to based on, you know, what was going on. So I'm okay with it. I'm no regret. What's the plan for now? Are you going to chill out or are you going to just jump back in, there's play the main? No, there's a 10K stud that's going and I'm going to late reg that. You Poker me? players, oh my god. It's a god. great tournament. Got to play stud. <laughs> Thank you. Congrats. All right. And that's it for this year's Big One for One Drop. Congratulations to Daniel. Stay with us for more updates from the WSOP coming to you this week. This is Tatiana Pasolic. Thank you for watching calvinair.com.